Hello friend, let's see the question number 28. Uh, NCC parad is going at a uniform speed of 8 km per through a place under a barrier tree. So what happened? Uh, basically, let's see, this will happen here. Let's say any barrier tree is there. Okay. And uh, some berries are there like some berries so this is the tree like this is the tree we have and the small small berries are there so what happened in this case on which a bird is sitting at a height of 12.1 meter at a particular instant the bird drops a berry they start dropping the berry starts his start drop the berry which cat did give the distance from the tree at an instant will receive the berry on his uniform well, the candidates are moving with the constant speed, which is nothing but 6 km per hour. So, convert it to the meter per second. 6 into 5 by 18 will give you near about 1.66 meter per second. Well, the initial velocity of the berry is 0 and the solution due to gravity is downward, so it will be 9.8 positive. Distance, that is the height. Guys, just try to understand, we will consider this as a ground. Because they have not mentioned it, the height of the cat did, or at what place it will hit the anticipated cadets. So we'll consider this as a ground. The height will be the total distance cover. So from there we'll get the time. Just put it s is equal to u two plus half a t square. Put all this value, we'll get the time. Well, the cadet velocities are six one point six six meter. Hence, the distance traveled by the cadet during this time only 1.57 will be 1.57 into the its velocity, which is 2.6 meter. Hence, during this time 1.57, the berry will be fall, and even during this time, cadets are moving along this direction. So, any one of the cadets who travel this much, like 2.6 meter distance, will receive the berry on his uniform i hope this is clear to you guys thank you for watching if you like this video please subscribe the channel so that it will be more helpful for you thank you